Usually, good evening, hi guys, ladies and gentlemen across the world, everyone out there. Good evening and welcome to Let's Talk About It with Tracy. That's right, we're here. I'm sorry we're running a little bit late, but we're right here, guys. All right, this is the Let's Talk About It, as I said, so with Tracy alongside my co hosts, Tanya and Marcia. And in the studio tonight, we have a very, very special guest. I'm so happy. We have our special guest tonight, the legendary Peter Honeydale. Pretty good to be here. Alongside Orlando Dickens. <laughs> 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 yes, yeah, so we're going to be talking to Orlando and Peter regarding the giant of Love is Rock. As you can see, that's the title for tonight, the giant of Love is Rock, which will be happening real soon at the O2 Indigo in London on the 12th of October. We'll give you a little bit more information about that much later on. But for now, I'm just going to introduce you to my co-host. And to this side, we have... Marcia. And we have... Hi, guys. It's Tanya. That's right. So we're going to be on our best behaviour tonight, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this might be... <laughs> this man's been giving us so much trouble, you know. Trust me, he's been giving us so, so much trouble. But anyway, let's just fire away with this guy here. Orlando, the one that's been giving so much trouble today. I haven't started yet. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, here at Chief TV. My name's Orlando. I'm the originator for the Giant Lovers Rock. And uh, Peter Honeygill. Hi, my name's Peter Sunday. Honeygill. I'm a very new recording artist and these people are going to help me with my career. I was going to say it's still happy to be here at Heritage TV to meet the crew and everyone else. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Yeah. It's full of jokes, you know. These guys are the new recorded artists, like really. <laughs> He trying to say I'm young, that's what it is. Oh my goodness, really. He's, he's, he's absolutely, <laughs> listen, trust me, if you don't know about this man, get to know him. Get to know this legendary mm. Peter yeah. Honeydale, singer-songwriter, mm. amazing. But before we go into Peter, let's talk about the big man himself, the giants of Lovers Rock. The time where we're going to take us yeah. musically. Yep, yep, we're going to go back, back in, in time. time. Back, back, back in time. Way back when... Probably when, I don't know, when I was about 10, well, maybe I'm lying actually, I was probably about 17, <laughs> don't worry about it. <laughs> Giant's Lovers Rock is all about the Lovers Rock genre, um, the music that's ours, British heritage music from the 70s and the 80s, our version of soft reggae really, um, it was inspired from kind of like the American R&B soul vibe at the time. We came over here and done our own thing on it. We had produced artists like Peter, Janet Kay, Carol Thompson, 15, 16, 17, Brown Sugar, Gina Alibamba, and a host of other icons, Carol Thompson, everyone. So, 10 years ago, we started up a series. We brought together all the main acts, and we've been on it every year, every year since, really. A real trip down memory lane. My goodness, you mentioned the word 10 years. Yeah, 10 so years. So, this year happens to yeah. be your 10th yeah. year anniversary. The first one was in 2009. There's a little backstory to that. Have I got time? Of course. Okay, well, let me take it down then. In 2008, you know, Captain Dan Orlando. Some chat called Paradise, obviously, those who know. Yeah, absolutely. And we've become really, really good friends. But she suffered from clinical depression. And in 2009, in January, she took her own life. Unfortunately, mm. uh, but on the day, the night, the night she took her life, we've been talking on the phone, finding out about her. The track she was going to write, the new album, etc., is one of those type of things. So, clinical depression is a medical condition and it's serious and it affects a lot of us. We sleep it under the carpet, we need to talk about it, but let's move on from that. Mm. So, I put together a benefit concert for Jean because one of the clauses in the, in the insurance policy was that if she died as a result of suicide, then the policy would be null and void. So the kids wouldn't get anything. And one of the last things she was talking about is, Orlando, I want to put on, I want to do shows and I want to put a new album to put the kids through university. So to cut a long story short, I put together a benefit concert and I called up all the artists mm -hmm. and the lovers rock scene to come together and they all did. And everyone put their services in for free. Peter was one of them, Janet Cowan, lots of different artists. And we raised 18,000 pounds. We gave it to the kids on the night. And when I, you, I saw the kids the other day, 
and not kids anymore, and they're really, really thankful for you guys. Wow. Really That's amazing. I remember actually yeah. being at that concert. Hang the Empire. Fastest in the show, Hang the Empire. Yes, I remember being yeah. there. I actually remember seeing her perform the last performance. Bits to the Academy. Yes, yeah. before yeah. she um, sadly yeah, uh, took her yeah. Back. yeah. I remember seeing that, and I remember when she came on the stage, she looked very frail yeah. and a bit yeah. timid. Yeah. Well, that was the first time she sung for 18 years. Yes. I mean, the back, so well, she, got the, yeah. she got a beautiful Listen, standing ovation. The crowd I mean, loved her. Yeah, they loved, loved her. her. She was like, she, she was so presentable, she was such a nice person. And it was such yeah. a devastating shock to find yeah. out what happened. Yeah, yeah. You know, as I said, when she got on the of it, it affects a lot of us. And that is something that, you know, we definitely talk about on another show. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But yes. So because of that, I use that as in, <laughs> well, because the artist went for free, what I promised them at the time was, we'll do it again on a commercial basis so they can get paid. And hence, the Giants of Love Rock started, the first one. The first one went really, really well. The second one was okay, but I said this has got longevity and fast forward eight years later, here we are. You know what, okay. it's just gone from strength yeah. to strength. I mean, I've watched it grow, I've heard about a lot of people just get excited about it, saying, yeah. you know, giant. it's like, it's, it's, it's a calendar event. It is, yeah. It's exactly. a calendar event, it's something that you know that's happened, that's what I like, and I must say, congratulations mm. for your persistence. Yeah. Because even through the weather and the bad storms... I'm like a stalker. I just never let go. No. <laughs> <laughs> this man, you see. <laughs> well, we're going to come back to you in a second. Okay, cool. Let's touch on a little bit on our superstar. Uh -huh. This man here that used to make me close my eyes and oh, inhale and take it all in. And, you know, my first kind of dance was to be my lady. Did you and dance with you on Bonnie Ron or was you dance with someone? I was dancing with someone. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. The women then used to look at the man and say, when he used to pull up and dance, they used to put it in me so loud and say, get burned, man. But the thing is, that was a bit of a stop. Whatever. I don't want to talk too much about being my lady just yet because you know that's that that song's so passionate to me. But you know, just yeah, man, come on in, rock and come in. You know, tell us all about you, like you know where you're from and stuff like that. Well, as for as long as I can remember, I've always loved music. Um, so I, I guess at some point in my life it would have been a, a vocational sort of like aspect that I'd pursue life in music. And that really developed from when I went to secondary school because I was amongst like-minded people mm -hmm. who you could speak to about music and who gets it, you know, who's got the time because everybody else wants to kick football and run up and down a place. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you yeah. and a few friends want to probably learn some chords and stuff. So I was able to do that at secondary school. Um, but the love of the music has always been there. So I, I guess it's kind of like hand in glove that you kind of like both could work together, you go on and, and pursue your, your life in music. And like I say, again, being at secondary school, which is Tulsa, well, they're no longer the animals, I can say, you know. That's a comprehensive. <laughs> I and, remember and, that. And, 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 uh, good things, good. All right, all right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. I, I, met, I met some great people there. One is my current um, colleague and dear friend still, you know, um, who, who, who did the other side of music, Fitzroy Blake. So me being a musician out of the two, playing guitars and stuff, and Fitzroy more on the technical side of things and do all the engineering and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, went on from there. So it's really a story of strength to strength, and really development, you know, because um, Fitzroy took on work at a, 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 a studio in, in, in West End, Deep Wolf Studio. And we was able to get the right type of training and mentoring that we needed properly in the music industry. So Fitzy Blake is, is properly trained in engineering. And it was just a case of just going on from strength to strength. Fitzroy then moved on from D Wolf and, and another setup was built called Vibes Corner. So my name comes from that time, Honey Vibes. That was okay. just my yeah, so people call me Honey Vibes and stuff. But it's from the oh, Vibes no, Corner no, era. No, yeah. Yeah. So it's from the Vibes Corner era. And we just went on and just basically just stayed real sort of like, you know, we we love what we do. I mean, when I when I was a young lad, there was no such thing as reggae. Reggae wasn't invented. No, not none of them reggae. It was blue beat, skia, rock steady, and and stuff. You know. So there were the things that I grew up on. But 
with England developing their own style, with love as well, I fell underneath that. that and you guys came that. and turned that around. Yeah, alongside many of my, my, my good colleagues in the industry, you know, everyone, you know, played their parts. And I'm, I'm happy to say I'm, I'm, I'm part of that whole thing, you know. Wonderful. Yeah. Tanya, has Tanya got anything to ask him, my darling? I have. I had a few questions here. Mm -hmm. um, nope, I didn't. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> 
you know what's funny? You know you talk about old oh, people to put their past on that. Yeah. One of my favorite records back in those young days was in black. Yeah, mine's oh, yes. oh, yeah. So the other day, for Jamaican events, I bought Marcy Griffiths for the first time, first uh, the first month of term. And we're sitting in the children's room talking, she said, I'm so Orlando, but I was talking about I said, So you know what? I said, one of the most inspirational records for me from back in the day was Young Gifted and Black. And she gave this whole story with mm -hmm. Owen Horace, Andy, and blah, blah. Yeah, Bob Andy. Andy. Bob Andy, sorry, yeah. Bob, Bob Andy, Bob Andy, yeah. Mm -hmm. and I, was, I said, so you know, it's funny thing. I said, I never would have thought when I was that age, better record that you'd be here now asking me for money. I said, it's fantastic, isn't it? successful with the songwriting. Are know, they real? Some of them? Are they real experiences? Mm, Some mm, of them? Maybe <coughs> only one or two believe it or not. Yeah, and I get people asking that question, but I'm saying to be honest, the amount of records that I've got, if I went through all those experiences, I'd be something else extraordinary. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's but, probably based on people that you know that's gone through those based experiences. Based upon people what you know, mm -hmm. but also you, you know, you, you kind of got a good idea, you, you, you have a little yeah. bit of life and you, with your own reasoning and experiences, personal, and even some of the times you just, you create that scene for yourself. You know, I've got a song um, on my last album, um, it's called Do For Love, and it's, um, it's a situation where people, you know, they're finding love, so you've got three situations where the young lady coming in, a young guy that sets a table for two people, but he's the only one sitting there. Mm -hmm. And stuff like that. You write songs, you know, puts people in the imagination. And think, how do you write that? You know? Yeah. And it's, it's how you, you, you play role stuff. And write, you know? That's really nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah
So what about yourself, Marcy? You got anything? Well, first thing I want to ask, um, where in Jamaica your parents from? Ah, Trilogy. Trilogy, oh, you say Bullseye. Oh, you say Bullseye. Oh, Bullseye. Oh, Bullseye. 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 Bullseye.
Jones girls, Melbourne Moore, and Glenn Jones. So what about this minor? Sugar Money, when he's passed away, they're going to be singing these songs. Oh, is it Johnny Kim Sugar Money song? Yeah, Sugar Money. Oh, okay. yeah, just go in and choose like that. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, yeah Glenn Jones is going to do um, a rendition of the song. He's going to sing um, Good Thing Going, oh, and Sandy, yeah. um, Lovers Rock. He's going to sing yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Listen, it's a big show, you know. Yeah, but he's going to sing that. Yeah. I'm going to sing just for you. Wow. Why, don't Why don't we go? I'm going to stand right there, Glenn. Why don't we go to the show? You are coming to the show. What do you mean? We are going to the show. I'm going to come with my guests. What do you mean? I'm going to show you a short man. 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 I'm going to show you
Mama Chijuke, hi, so wait a market. Please pack some mogirisi. I am going to visit my son. <laughs> My daughter in law. It's arranged. But you must use original red oil to prepare the soup. What? I'll call you back. Hey, <laughs> Mama Chicho, please include Isio Moroko. Hey, my daughter in law. Everything is now set. But don't forget that gold wristwatch I saw the last time I visited you. Now you can talk until you tire for just 11 cup of a second. Call all networks in Nigeria and 30 international destinations, including US, UK, China, Canada, and India, for just 11 copper per second. Dial star 211 hash to activate. That's silk bubbles. The largest data network, Glow, Grandmasters of Data. Okay, people, this is Lover's Rock. The Giants of Lovers Rock is back for the 10th year anniversary on Saturday, October 12th at the Indigo 2 Greenwich. To celebrate this landmark occasion, we're bringing you simply the best Lovers Rock show ever held. Flying in from the USA, soul superstars performing in the original Lovers Rock style. Glenn Jones performing the hits of Sugar Minot. Melba Moore performing the hits of Gene Adabambo. The Jones Girls featuring Shirley Jones. Performing the hits of Brown Sugar, Melissa Morgan and special guest Vivian Jones. Performing the hits of Deborah Glasgow and Jean Khan. Performing the hits of the legendary Louisa Marks. Joining them, the queens and kings of Lovers Rock, including Janet Kay, Carol Thompson and Peter Huntingell. Showtime, 6pm to 11pm. Tickets are £35 standing, £45 balcony and £65 Kings Row VIP. Available from giantsofloversrock.com, axs.com, ticketmaster.co.uk and partyace.com. Contact Orlando on 078 777 for Kings Row tickets and more information. The Giants of Lovers Rock. Welcome back to Let's Talk About It with Tracy. And here in the studio we have my guest, my fantastic guest, a legendary Peter Huntingale, and alongside me Orlando Geetons. And not forgetting my co-hosts, Tanya and Marcia. So Marcia, would you like to take it away from me please? Yeah, so I want to ask Peter a question. So um, what are you working on now? Ah, that's a brilliant question. I'm doing mainly production at the moment. I'm working with different artists now. Um, at the moment, an uh, artist from Wales called Tonight Tafari. Also an artist here called Dave Papa Crooks. Oh, And uh, Papa nice Crooks, yeah, the show, <laughs> producing stuff with him and stuff here. Yeah. And also with an artist from Nigeria, you know, wow. um, Jackie that's Vice. Cool. That's cool. Um, yeah, so it's great. Um, also, I'm just working with my usual colleagues, Tip Irie and stuff. So um, I, I do a lot of production work and, and do music stuff and so mix it, um, and stuff. And single records or album or...? Well, some of it, this project I'm working with now is an album. Okay. You know, um, with Papa Cooks at the moment, we are working towards an album, but okay. it's more singles with him. But with this new artist, Sunai Tafari, it's an hour, a whole album. And it is, it's coming to completion pretty soon. So it's like roots, kind of commercial type of okay. stuff. Yeah. Nice. So, so when the album comes out, are we going to get one? Definitely. <laughs> uh, <laughs> definitely. We'll be servicing, we'll be servicing all the main players. Well, written let's talk about it show oh for sure okay. definitely <laughs> not only with tracy but with tracy marcy and tanya that's <laughs> the case you didn't know tracy <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so yeah thank you for coming 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 thank
Sí. Sure, I'll call Gina Stone. Omar, Omar said, I can't take you. He saw this, he saw that. He's jealous. He's jealous. That's why people shoot him. Some people go to pieces, but the idea of forgetting your stuff is making up stuff on the spot. Yes. And or it's yes. not so much a mistake you make, it's how you recover from yes. it. Yes, definitely. And it's yeah. showing that you're human. Absolutely. Oh, yes. Everyone yeah. makes mistakes. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And to quote uh, uh, an English artist, you know, he was saying, proper English artist, you know, I mean, from back in the day, and he was saying, you know, there's times he goes and does his show. He forgets his words and the audience can actually see he's forgotten his words and they just sing along with it. That's amazing, yeah. yeah. And, and that's it, you know what I mean? And I say to everyone, uh, to young, new people, don't worry about making yeah. mistakes. Definitely. Please don't don't go out there thinking to yourself, I'm going to, you know, do a yeah. performance. Yeah. 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 yeah, sometimes I do have to sing some of my verses twice. Because you, you, I mean, I don't know what it is, but sometimes it escapes yeah, yeah, yeah. you, you know. Yeah. What I mean? Sometimes but you go for like it's true. You, it's you just do like go no, I go in the shop mm -hmm. and I know what I've got to buy, and then I forget. Yeah, yeah. It's and I'm standing there yeah, in the yeah. shop, like, okay, what did I come to the shop for? for? Yeah. Then I'd leave the shop and I'd be like, oh. Yeah. And then go back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so trust you me. It's, it's, yeah. Things happen. For sure, for sure. Yeah. And that's yeah. why I asked this question for anyone that's watching that is up-and-coming artists and to show mm -hmm. that we're all yeah, human yeah, yeah. Yeah. and everyone makes mistakes but it's how you come out of it. It's how you come back you funny, know? I was talking to I was talking to Jane Khan and she was saying to me, obviously they're learning they're learning some of the love rock tracks for the first time. She said, Oh Landon, what what am I gonna do if I it was caught you in a light. She goes, what am I gonna do if I can't That's remember the love she said, I can't remember the words said, well firstly love is rock. It's never that complicated. It's what people to belong to because and even if you forget your word, you're going to have 2,000 people sitting there. Yeah. Sing with me! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, yeah, know yeah. remember it. You yeah. know, even though you might find it. I saw you put the mic on. Yeah, just before you need to clear your throat when yeah. you sing yeah. as well. Yeah. So yeah. sometimes yeah. I've known to like have a quick cough while I'm singing. Uh, uh, yeah. 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 Do these things. Yeah. Yeah. These are stagecraft. Wow, you know look I mean? at that. Yeah. 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 I never noticed that. Yeah, yeah. no, you can. Yeah. 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 You have to work with your life situation, you know what I mean? Yeah, you make things work, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So you'd also done some music back in back in the days in the eighties. Um Slipping Away on L G R record? Yes, Slipping Away. That was one of the first songs. In actual fact that song was recorded at D Wolf Studios, the same um, studio that I was telling about that first yeah. one, you know. Mm -hmm. And that was recorded there. And a young guy called um, Lloyd Roberts released it on his records, um, LGR records at the time. You know, alongside Sandra Cross, in actual fact, had another song okay. as well called Perfect Match, if I remember well, at the same time. And so myself, um, Sandra Cross, and another guy called David Miller had songs released around the same time. So that was my first known single hit, Slipping Away. Yeah, yeah. so the Lloyd Roberts you're talking about, that's Sir Lloyd, right? That is Sir Lloyd. Ah, yeah. right, the great mm. Sir Lloyd up there, mm. big up, big up, chicken. <laughs> mm. You know why I do that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's not short though, is he? I'm just joking. No, no. Oh, oh, oh my God. He's mm. never going to forget that. Hello. I think, Hello. I think, I think you're back with the well, same exact. Well, I know. Exact, we are, we're we're right. Right. Having to manufacture and make our own records, and that's how we learned 
the, the industry I, I, I worked, where I had to go down to Oh Bless His Heart, now you just brought back some memories, Keith. Um, we printed our first labels for us, mm -hmm. and then we got the labels done, and then we found out about processing, because it wasn't all about playing records mm -hmm. and mixing, you had processes yeah, yeah. to go through. So we had our first <laughs> labels made, up, yeah. you know, you get mastering done, you get your yeah, processing done where they make the stuff, and then you rush down to School Road, yeah. where at the time Bob's would be, you know, Bobsy, right, but right, we right. had, um, uh, what's his name, Ahmed, that's two rollers for, for School Road uh, pressing at the time. Um, but yeah, you'd have to go through the whole, press, uh, whole process of making your own record, your own product, and it taught us so much. We weren't just singers then, or musicians, yeah. we had to know things, because we couldn't get signed nowhere. That's so right. you have to make your own product. Yeah. So, so when you couldn't get signed, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. And that saved you um, a lot of money, isn't it, from paying out? No, it, no, in actual fact, no, it, it cost us, because we bore the, no, the costs, cost. yeah, sure. oh, you know, okay. it was supposed to get signed, yeah, it was oh. supposed to get signed by a company who okay. would, would bear the cost, okay. I mean, it would yeah. come out while we worked as well, but we always had to stump up the up for, um, up for yeah. cash. Okay. And you run around the record show, I used to have a record label, mm. years and years, you know Wade Marshall G-Spot? Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. yeah. Everest, Maxi, mm. Jenny Bell, Mary Rose was a mark. But it's like, back in the days, used to go to the studio, rush straight out of the studio, straight down to Chris's mm. music house mm. in the Holloway Road, cut the dub, cut the dub plates for the DJs, yeah. and cut the master, straight down to Bobsy, that's where I used to go, yeah. North Circle Road. Mm. This all happened in the Fed for like two days. Yeah. You've got to get the records the next day, usually bed like Rose Bowl, but it's all blessed. <laughs> get the records straight down to the record <laughs> shop, drop them off, <coughs> and go back to follow to pick up your money. And go back to the same It was wow. it's, it's, yeah. it's very, it's wow. very much yeah. like that. And that was, the important yeah. thing is is that we remind our people, you know, many people see us as artists and think, oh yeah, you know, we signed, you've got big houses, big cars and mm. stuff. Yeah, and it's not like that. Yeah. It's really not like that. And I'm gonna mm. I'm gonna kind of break it's that. Awesome. Awesome. What we yeah. had to do, we still do it today. Most of the efforts that you see the artists in the industry make is off their own back. Mm -hmm. It's it's not big record company money that's doing it. We yeah. do it for the love and yeah. the money, you know. Yeah. You do your PAs or whatever, you do your shows and stuff. And this is why it's so important we try to tell our people, please do not support bootleggers and mm. the people that yeah. sell you CDs on the street. Yes. On the street. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, don't buy think you're getting a good deal or it's going to be the first to get something. <laughs> Five pounds. No, it's killing us. <laughs> It's, it's totally killing us. And, and some of our people who don't see us on TV, they think, how come they reach there? It's because you're not supporting us in the right way. Yeah, you're supporting yeah. the man on the corner. I think they're, I think they're, they're yeah. more even more, even more relevant back in the day, because now, because of the download situation, yeah. most, people, most, most of the music is no more. Most of the music is throw away and give away. Yeah. Now, because it's part of market employer. Yeah. Yeah. The real one. For sure. The artists are relying on different... The record companies are doing a thing called 360. Where they yeah, they, 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 they only pay you at They do only pay you at They only pay you at the music industry. The money in sales isn't how it used to be back in the day. But the bootleg did kill off a lot of people. Oh, for sure. And they're still doing it. They're still doing it now. They're still doing it now. Well, I think the police don't stop them from the street. I think they haven't stopped from them. Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. But it's still on the ground. They try. 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 And I know it's not the people on the streets put, putting them out because some of those records aren't released. It's the DJs that's doing it, some of it. Yeah. You give them your records, yeah. you know. Well, I mean, a lot of the, a lot of the promos that end up on those four pack CDs, oh, yeah. well, it's the DJs doing it. It's the DJs doing it. They're the ones doing it. Yeah. Nowadays, a lot of DJs fail to sign artists. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
if you see these from some guy who's just selling off his mouth of either, yeah man, tell the two with ten or whatever. Yeah, yeah. 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 the now, really. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 but mind you, um, on your album, and I and I have, and I wish I did manage to dig it out of my shed, yeah. I've got your keep my album in your shed. No, I've got it in my head and I wish I had the money to go in it, but mind I'm scared. Oh, spiders. Yeah, and all those creepy coolies and yeah, stuff. Yeah. I've got it in my shed and it's my the original Be My Lady um, record and it's got a flip side to it. Let's get it together. And it yeah, was on the Street Vibes label, the blue and white label. Mm. Yes. And how did you, how did you, what did we put on the B side of, of, of Be My Let? Because we did do PA versions then. Was it? I'm sure it was Let's Get It Together. I'm let's, sure it was. Uh, you're probably right. Sure let's, let's, you're I can probably right. it right now. But let's let's get it together. Was one of the songs we we had out um, the earlier songs. I can't remember what we put on the B side of Be My Lady, but I'll go home and see if I can have a look. So, yeah, well, I, I could be wrong, but I know I've got the Be, um, be My Lady record mm. with um, on Street Vibes mm. with the Blue and White label, and um, well, we can actually have a listen to Be My Lady. You have it here, Peter. Yes, we have yeah. it here we in the studio. Excuse me, can I ask you something? Um, let, 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 let's just um, see if we can get the music first. Yeah, before we, we don't want to forget. Um, but like your um, your, your, your singles and them thing, you can still get them to buy. Or we can sell them on YouTube as well. Um, uh, yeah. On YouTube as well. Um, yeah. Don't go to YouTube. Oh, so I don't want to be negative about YouTube. Mm -hmm. Um, YouTube, yes, you can go and spot them, but some of the YouTube stuff, in actual fact, a lot of the YouTube stuff mm. is, I don't put them up there. We don't oh, put them up there. People okay. just put them up there. Once you get your CD yeah. to buy. Oh, yes, then you can probably oh. go to Amazon or something like okay, that. Amazon, or okay. you probably go to iTunes. Um, the com one of the companies that, um, that's, I work with now, they do a lot of stuff on iTunes, so you should be able to get some of my back catalogs there. Yeah, but you can, you can go to places like Amazon, Amazon. and, and, and Get hard copy CDs. Oh, yeah, that's all. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I love to buy some. But yeah. YouTube is fine. But we find that with YouTube, it's <laughs> it's 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 not us that's doing it. You know, a lot yeah. of people put stuff up. So I think the, so YouTube, the YouTube is good to give you an understanding or a knowledge of who the artist is. If you want to hear the song, um, like sort of like try before you buy, yeah. sort of thing. I think. Hang on. So I think I, I, I kind of use it like that. Sometimes. Yeah, that's the right way to use it. But some people buy. from they've heard it, it's just like giving away free food, free food. Once you're giving um, it away, sometimes I don't have to pay for it. So that's the thing. So yeah. I don't know if, like, if you repurchase your CD on Amazon, all the money goes to Amazon. It comes. That comes back to me. Oh, okay. That, yeah, because that's it's a on the that I want yeah. to know because that's I think, legit. Yeah. Yeah, it goes back to the company. Also, but being as well, okay. if you register your track on YouTube, mm. you get paid on that as well. You know what? You know what? We like with YouTube. Yeah. We like we like with YouTube to recognise something. They are a public platform, mm. and every public platform that you know, when you have a sweet shop or whatever, normally has a license to to play music mm -hmm. through. And what we're trying to establish, I think there's uh, Article 11, Article 13. New laws are coming out that. People were having tons of bits and pieces of their material up on YouTube and stuff, and not receiving any royalties for it whatsoever. Mm. And that's just insane. totally insane. And there are public platforms. That's sad. Yeah. So if you get people, you get people who've got thousands of, of hits and views, and their stuff's all up on the internet, and they're not seeing any royalties. But if that was radio, or your high street store, they would have been paid. Okay. So YouTube and all these platforms are exactly the same. They're a public <coughs> service. So what, instead of us having to register on YouTube, it should be by default. Mm -hmm. That if you're putting someone's song up there, whatever, then a, a remuneration or some a payments are made. Mm -hmm. that's uh, so that's idea. Article 11 and Article 13, and that's... It'd be like a PRS section. type payment. It will be a PRS type payment. Be well, I'm sure you get one of the, 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 the aggregates, one of the companies that will do it, probably the PRS or... Because so so you should pay a license now, you know. You should be paying the license now. Yeah. So all the things, everything that's up there, and if you go up there and say that you don't your things up there, they will actively take down. Take your thing down. Yeah. The problem yeah. with it is that somebody will put it back up the next yeah, day. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. You know, but this is what it is. Before people are allowed to upload content on YouTube, 
do you own the content? It's the first thing that should be asked. Right, okay. Before you yeah, can upload it, you have to sign a consensual form. So if you are uh, contested mm. and you've said mm -hmm. that it's your yeah, stuff, you, you know, and, yeah. and you've got, got the legal, yeah, you know, then yeah. we take your ass to court. Mm -hmm. well, now, it sounds a bit harsh, but the no, whole no. music industry is dying. Yes, it's true. It literally is dying. What's number yeah. one in the reggae charts? Does that, anyone know? That's, that's just nobody, like, nobody really knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody nobody really knows. Knows. You know. I'm going to be devil's devil's because you know I'm like. Mm. Yeah. But you talk to the new school kids now. Yeah. And they're making far more money than we ever did. Yeah, yeah for sure. Like, people like Stormzy, they know. Yeah. They're making yeah. well, like, real money. No, I'm talking mm. And they're making yeah. money. They're making money from streaming music. Yeah, yeah but they are, they are signed. Stormzy, people like Stormzy, a lot of, and I'm glad, a lot of the, the young rap artists, we've Gigs. seen more mm -hmm. young black artists from, from the street music scene getting signed, more interest being paid to them really? nowadays. You know, so but you know what, really see, see Stormzy, Stormzy yeah. and them, that's their own label, you know. Yeah. yeah. And but they, they, sub, they just sub out work. Yeah, yeah, they right, control gigs, mm, say, for sure, oh, it's, it's for a, sure, it's, 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 it's a good game now. It's just like Bob Marley and Island Records, you know what I mean? There's no two ways about it. Without record company being behind Bob Marley, he wouldn't be where he is or where we know him yeah. to be. Mm -hmm. Island Records got behind that campaign. Yeah. And you need major company money yeah. or you're going to find a lot of people, thousands if not millions of young people, great artists, mm -hmm. but they haven't got the money to get yeah, the money. I'm going to be <laughs> 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 We've been a bit me if you We are just like, we're going to have more opinions. Well, okay, when the guy from the street makes music now and puts it on YouTube mm. and puts it on, on those kind of platforms, they get the views. Yeah. The views aren't paid for, yeah. the views are the organic. Mm. And once you get X amount of views, mm. that means you've got an audience. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You've created your own audience. Mm. And because you've got your database and your audience, you can go there for and monetize that. And I can tell you, because I talk to these guys, and a lot of them, See, I was asking the same thing as you, I said, what about the records? And you know, Stormzy first said to me, Orlando, we haven't had a record label with Rovers ever. Yeah. Until the last album. Yeah. Um, Gang Signs and whatever. The last yeah. album. Up until then, everything they got paid. Mm. was money they, they made, they made themselves. themselves. And they were making, honestly, like, real money. Like, when, the, when somebody said they're making, they're making £50,000 a show back in those days. Yeah. Now it's quarter million pound a show. <coughs> and they put up, the only reason why I was talking about it is because when I was putting out records myself, Mm. And you know, you, you think you're selling units on the road and blah blah blah, mm. and then you realise like we were born in a time like footballers really, mm. like yeah. back in the day footballers, they never used to earn great money. Mm. Now they earn stupid money doing the same thing. If we were born now, doing what we're doing now, if we were born doing now, and we were doing back in the day with some of that popularity, yeah, mm. we will be relying on record labels. But you see, well. the thing is, you see, we can look at people like Stormzy and some of the young acts mm. that's mm. come up and say, yeah, but. They're one and two and three and four. Mm. There are literally thousands of people trying to follow that path and they're not getting through. Not everybody. It's not everyone. Yeah. Mm. Now mm. we mm. know mm. we mm. are mm. with mm. 50,000. Mm. 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 Would you collaborate with any artists that are new it, now? It is what you do. It's mm. what you would do. It's it's the music industry, it's mm. the music trend, what you would do. You collaborate with any and everybody mm. to help open doors. Mm. It's just like Run DMC and Aerosmith, yes, right. you know, yeah, they yeah, broke that yeah. mold between rock yeah. and rap, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And we do exactly the same. But because I see so many people who look up to some of their acts who they do see on TV and think to themselves, I can try it and mm -hmm. I can do it. And they've got 50, 60,000 yeah. people on Facebook and Instagram. How many records do they sell? Mm -hmm. Ten. If we're not about ten records. It's not about ten. Yeah, but the thing is about it is the hard... Yeah. Hard <coughs> copy mm. reality of it is it is about making money but because you can get all the tax on the back and yeah, yeah you know no, the crazy where they, they, they do their shows yeah. uh, there's a guy called Ko mm. I know his, his dad owns a place in Brixton never had a record out is what is, I think he's had about two million views on YouTube and blah blah, blah. Mm. he's just on a show for twenty five thousand mm. pounds he's never had a record out. Mm. Mm. Because, it's, because it's you're your mark for him. and you know and you know for the fact as well even from back in the day. A record label, yeah, would give you that advance. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The advance would go, standard, would probably even recording the album, probably in a couple of cars, a couple of parties, whatever, whatever. Mm -hmm. advance would go. And then the bulk of your money that you're making, so I used to from my Morrison, the bulk mm -hmm. of your money you're making from that one is from shows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And all that's happening now is that 100% is about selling records. Mm -hmm. As much as I talk about the streaming and blah, blah, the percentage of that are really, really small. It's just that they're building up an audience that prepared to pay money to see them. Yeah. And they are earning real money. money. There's guys selling out venues that we can only dream about. Well, I, I want to be honest with you, in terms of certain certain areas of music, yeah, especially 
young music, young mm. more yeah. yeah, it's quite possible, but we still have other genres yeah. that appeal to yeah. a more mature, mature, mature yeah. audience, yeah. Yeah. and they will not realise that type of... Yeah, 100%. Yeah, that's true. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we have to speak to them, we can't yeah. just... No, 100%. Yeah. But even back in the day, how many people actually got deals? Because we're doing, we're doing all that record. It's like finding two teeth. And that was the dream yeah, as well. Could, yeah, that was the dream as well. Yeah, right? for sure. Yeah. It was never easy. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, like I'm a, said, on a street, I had an album. Yeah. Yeah. And, it sold, I had an album, and it sold a street album, Way Marshall's 90 Degrees of Rome, 105,000 copies. Mm. And the week before, two weeks before we did it, I said to Way, we've made it. I said, you know what, this is a pre-release on Jetstar. Mm. Bless them. Love you. So it's like, it's on pre-release, it's going to 105,000 units. Yeah. And I told her, I said, we've made this, then you know what? Every major in the land, because you know how much money that's five pound. That's five pound an album, mm. and an independent. That's some serious money back then. So I said, "Bill, we're going to come out." You know what? We still never got a deal. So they turned and said, "You you created an image on the street. You've done the work already, and we can't add to it." Mm. Uh, yeah. Oh, so, but the dream was to get the deal because no. the deal in them days the only way you could go worldwide was to yeah. get a deal, and that's what you're talking about. I get that. Yeah. Well, it's not so much. It's just it's you need. We can only go so far. Before you you know, support. we make yeah. we yeah before we need support absolutely. Yeah. Right, we can make the product and stuff like that, but to really hit up to the masses that we know that's out there, you know, you need record companies and stuff. And this idea of people going out on the internet, you know, maybe for that you might find one in every thousand because there's a lot of people doing music. Yeah. It's so yeah. Yeah. Domestic. now you do it in your bedroom, you get up in your pajamas. Yeah. And, oh, Everybody's a singer. Everyone's a singer. Everybody's a singer. Yeah. Just like me. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't need to be a musician. You get a few samples, chuck them together, and off you yeah. go. Yeah. You know, That's so, right. Yeah, it's, yeah, well, anyway, um, I hope we found the song. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, right there. Put the world to rights. Right, uh, That's <laughs> fine. That was great because it makes it very, you know, you've clarified a lot. Yeah. You know, yeah. You've covered a lot of ground yeah. that we wouldn't have known. Mm -hmm. And also up and coming artists who could be watching as well or yeah. uh, to stay watching can learn from this. For sure. There is there between the two bread but there's something called reality. There you that's go. Right. That's why you show it's a reality. Yeah, yeah, you've got to you, you've got yeah. to there's a dreams and there's could do, would do, yeah. everything, but there's something called reality that people often miss out on. And that's right. please look at it, you know. Wish everyone a successful career. Mm -hmm. You know, but be but real with the game. The key thing like I always said it was do it because you love it. Don't yeah. do it for the money. That's Don't right. do it for the fame. Don't That's do it for the money. If you love didn't it. pay your bills, you did. You know what I mean? How many people, how many people pay do we know? Let's how many people do we know? Let me just hear my song. Can we pay a big one now, Lee? Ha ha volunteers to team up with me for a one month expedition Like the morning sun that shines so
competition time. Our phone number for Heritage TV, let's talk about it with Tracy's show, is 020-800-46100. Eight two oh eight hundred four six one hundred. Orlando, yeah. it's over to you. Okay. And can you tell us about the competition, please? Okay. What we're going to do for you guys today, we're going to give away two pairs. That's two pairs, rather than a really generous. Put up three things. Exactly. Now we're getting up four. Two pairs. One, two. <laughs> That's better. One, two. That's one, better. two. Oh. I can't control my <laughs> Okay. Thank you. Four fingers, okay? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> We're giving away two pairs of tickets to Giants Lovers Rock on the 12th of October. Peter. Right, and what you guys have got to do, where am I, which camera am I? This one, one there. Yeah. Yeah. Right, um, so what you've got to do, I'm going to give you a very simple question. Can we get right. a camera on Peter? Sorry, hi. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I did uh, a song with uh, a dear colleague of mine, uh, 1998, and it was called Ragamuffin Girl. Could you please... Name my partner in crime. <coughs> okay, that's the question. Yeah? That's for one pair? That's one for one pair. pair. One pair. And so I'll say the number again. Say the number yeah. again one more time. It's okay. 020. Okay. okay, I'm going to. 800. Well, how was the second one? 100. Say it again, sorry, Tanya. Listen, lady, just wait. Wait, wait no man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so it's 020 800 46100. Okay. Over to you, Marcia. Okay, and again, viewers, our um, second question, I'm going to ask. What's the no uh, second? Okay. Okay, let's see if you're taking notes earlier on in the show. Mm -hmm. Just again, we're distracted by all these beautiful ladies in here. Mm -hmm. What can I that's a boy glasses. Anyway, <laughs> as I was saying, right? <laughs> um, I mentioned earlier on that we've got some American artists coming over, singing some Love and Rock tracks as well as their own. Can you name the American artists that's going on the show? Anyone. Any one of them. I think all five. All oh, five? That's all five. Five. That's not, because they've got flyers. No, give them one. Give them one. Give them one. Yes, he's giving four um, Tickets, that's two pairs, yeah? yeah? That's a lot. Yeah, yeah. And they name two. Uh, yeah. Half. That's a name two, yeah. Oh, name three. Oh, we're always getting the wrong word. Oh, name uh, three. Oh, name three. Oh, name three. Oh, yeah, yes, I am. No, two and a half. Name two acts. Name two American acts coming over. Yeah. For the Giants Lovers Rock on the twelfth of October. And just to reiterate, my one is, who did I perform Rag Em Up and Go with? I think it is 1998, he corrected me once. But in 1998, who did I perform that song Rag Em Up and Go with? Mm -hmm. Tanya, do you want to read out the number again from the county? It's 020 800 46100. Okay, so you guys have that. You can ring in now, you can ask a quick question to Orlando or Peter. And you need to be real, real quick, guys. So 020. 800 46100. Just get that phone ringing now. Ooh, and oh, we have oh, somebody ringing. Oh, okay. Hello, Tanya girl. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> Hello, darling. It's Pelu. Just say Hello. What's your name, honey? It's Nadine. Hi, Nadine. Say hi, Nadine. Hi. Hi. Go for it, yeah. When my yeah. mum starts cleaning something, 
comedy song. It means it's time to get up and start cleaning. I'd like many of the people, especially from in the communities, don't think that, oh, we don't need to buy the records because these guys have already made it already. No, yeah. you, you are part of what we do. Mm -hmm. And we find that we didn't get so, when we look at the analytics of sales, we didn't get so much of the sales from the communities. It was always outside. So we're saying, look, our community people, don't just see us and whatever. You need to go out and buy the tickets when the shows come around. Don't just think, oh, I'll hop over the fence, or I'm not going to bother buying no English tickets, they're English artists. And when the Jamaican artists come across, everybody rushes and buys tickets. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And what we need here, when it comes to UK music, UK produced music, we need the people to love it just as much as they'd love anything else. Mm -hmm. you know? So it's to change of attitudes. Yeah. Yeah. Support your own. It's true, yeah. it's true. Yeah, yeah. support your own. For sure. Uh -huh. What are you whispering to? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
and yeah, he, 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 he does. He's a really and, nice uh, person. I think Giggs might be the other person. Yeah. As well. You know, yeah, um, yeah. yeah, but there's not to say there aren't others, but they're the two main people I'd, I'd probably, yeah, yeah, I definitely support that. Yeah, 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 yeah okay. Anything else, Alanda? No, I just um, talk about October Giants as long as well. That's right. These beautiful ladies are coming, mm -hmm. obviously. So, all you guys, I'm just saying, join us. Let's week. talk about join it. Heritage <laughs> 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 Television, yeah, we'll be down there. We come, we'll be down there to support and yeah. raise the flags and yeah, scream sure. and shout. Get some honey. We'll bring, we'll bring back someone next week from the Giants. Definitely, you'll be yeah, back here next be week. Good. And um, who Go are you going to be bringing Go next week? Go Boys Talk. Are you enjoying it? Oh yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah, I'll be here in person. Yeah. <laughs> so who would you be? So who are you going to be bringing back next week? Right. So uh, I like the Jones girls. I like Shirley Jones. Ooh yes. But you have said that you like. You did say you like Glenn as well. I do love him. So if I can, if I can, <laughs> you want to be Please stop it. Or if I can, I will go and make you. I mean, how many times have we made? We could bring them all in. Oh, oh yes, my God. that would be absolutely amazing. We've got enough chairs, we've got enough chairs. We've got plenty of chairs. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what, what day would what, what it be? It's the 9th, right here on Heritage Television. That's, that's next Wednesday. That's next week, Wednesday, in the evening. We might, you know, we might better do that because we've got rehearsal. They're all rehearsing on the day in the Oldsfield. So I could make with one with one and bring them down now. That'd be great. Let's come and take over. Yeah. We'll come and take over the place. Oh, yeah. That's the night. So can yeah. we quickly listen yeah. to Peter's other select song that he wants to play? Just a little bit. It's called Perfect Lady. Mm -hmm. Peter Hangel's other song that he chose that he'd like to play for tonight. We just had a little snippet of that before we're going to be closing. Any of you want to win these tickets? If you don't win it today, you can also email us as well and we can pick it up from there. Okay, on the Heritage Television or the Let's Talk show number three. Oh, oh. I just gave okay. it away, that's why. <laughs> on purpose. Oh, um, somebody, 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 somebody. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Can you Hello, you, you both from on the other line already, yeah? No. No, no. No, you're live. You're live. You're live, you're live. You're live. Thank you, babe. Hello. What's your name like and where are you <laughs> calling from? <laughs> Uh, this is the UK principal calling from my yard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Big old UK principal. Well, UK principal calling from my yard. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you know, I've always got that spiritual, I'll never leave my spiritual dynamics. I mean, you learn about, you know, from you know, obviously, when, just in a nutshell, when we're young, we learn about, you know, Bible, religion, whatever, everything else, and, but your experiences through your life show you even more. And it helps you to either appreciate or understand more about what your spirituality is about. That's and it's very just really good. good. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so you develop. Don't you, you never no one should stay in one place and get all, you know, the first book of the Bible and that's what life is all about. No, it's mm. not. You know, it's it's a lot more than that. So yeah. You know, so I'm still very much in tune with my spiritual side for sure. Well, that's good because like like myself, I think Music is an energy that, you know, the gift given to each individual. Oh, it's down to your mind. From the, from the creator that mm. makes it possible for us to do what we all do. Oh, for sure. As so, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Thank you, my friend. Yeah, bless your heart. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good evening. Yeah, you too, man. Thank, 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 thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> okay. Thank you, thank you. All right, take care. Bye. 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 Brilliant. So can we have um, Perfect Lady, just a little bit of that, please, guys? One of Peter's chosen songs, and then we're going to be wrapping this all up. In the meantime, while we're waiting. Time to keep it moving. <laughs>
make yourself look good, mm -hmm. walk in heels, ladies, because you want to go back in time, but walk in some flats now, you know, because you can't say <laughs> <make, make, laughs> heels anymore now. Mm -hmm. Walk in the flats, because after a while, you know, you need to come down a little. Just put me in your bag. Mm -hmm. Just put me in your bag. Oh, <laughs> Weapon. Exactly. Okay. exactly. <laughs> and just make sure you get down to the O2 on the 12th of October. Yeah. Okay? The Giants of Lovers Rock. We've heard about it. We've penciled it in our diary. It's a calendar date. We're going to be there. We're going to be and there. And we as well. will be there. Yes. Tyler's going to be there. Martin's going to be there. there. And of course, I'm going to be there. We're going to be there, yeah? So anything from you, Tanya? Um, as usual, it's nice to be nice, guys. You can add me on Facebook, Tanya Fullerton. Um, that's about it, really. Mm. And I'll see you next week. And Peter? Bless your hearts. Hope to see you all on the 12th of October. Please come bring friends and family. Mm. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful event and evening. Make sure you there. I want to see you in this place. All right? And um, not just you, Olanda, Marcia. Well, first of all, I'm glad to have you both here. Thank you. Thank with you. us, and we wish you well on your rock, lovers' rock. Cool. And we thank you for um, inviting us. Looking cool. forward to the show. And guys out there, I'm asking you all to come and support us. Mm -hmm. Support them, man. Yeah, we can just go and support them over there, so. Mm. Support who over here, so. Yeah. <laughs> One love. Yeah? All right. And Orlando. <laughs> Come and support so we can get to another 10 years. Yeah, yeah that would be amazing. You know, we buy it from Americans on there, but every year we have at least 20 British artists on there. It's the biggest show in the country, highlighting the biggest reggae acts. 10 years, keep on supporting it. Keep coming, guys, because we need to keep British lovers rock reggae music alive. Yeah, these are the last generations of the experience music, the true music. Don't get me wrong, we do like a little bit of hip-hop, a little grime and mm. traps or whatever there is out there today. But if you want to learn where love came from, intimacy, where you kids are just jumping up and down out there, I don't know how you actually don't get together anymore. But we used to take time and love and appreciate each other. Where the men, well some of them, used to ask us nicely. For a dance. Hello. And we used to nicely yes. find a corner. <laughs> <laughs> and we used to go nicely in the corner, okay? Where is the dark? <laughs> and dance. And people like him are responsible for some of, maybe me, <laughs> or uh, like maybe people like myself and older, obviously, are younger, um, who've been born through the listening to the beautiful music of the day. Alright? And just to wrap it up quickly, if you're not doing anything on the 19th of October, Sir Loy will be celebrating 40 years in the music entertainment industry. We'll be at the Club Cap, um, La Tavernetta, which is in Camberwell. The 19th of, of, of October, Sir Loy's 40th anniversary at the Club La Tavernetta. I was here, you were here, and we love you. Thank you so much, Heritage Television. Thank you all wonderful audience for joining in and we'll see you guys right here at nine o'clock ish they could be a little bit later because they're doing the rehearsals with the americans the jones girls glenn jones and many more and many more hopefully now you know we're on the competition <laughs> i'm just saying <laughs> okay <laughs> love you guys love Thank you, you. Bye. 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 The Giants of Lovers Rock is back for the 10th year anniversary on Saturday, October 12th at the Indigo 2 Greenwich. To celebrate this landmark occasion, we're bringing you simply the best Lovers Rock show ever held. Flying in from the USA, soul superstars performing in the original Lovers Rock style. Glenn Jones performing the hits of Sugar Minot. Melba Moore performing the hits of Gene Adabambo. The Jones Girls featuring Shirley Jones. Performing the hits of Brown Sugar, Melissa Morgan and special guest Vivian Jones. Performing the hits of Deborah Glasgow and Jean Khan. Performing the hits of the legendary Louisa Marks. Joining them, the queens and kings of Lovers Rock, including Janet Kaye, Carol Thompson and Peter Huntingale. 
Showtime, 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Tickets are 35 pounds standing, 45 pound balcony, and 65 pounds Kings Row VIP. Available from GiantsOfLoversRock.com, AXS.com, Ticketmaster.co.uk, and PartyAce.com. Contact Orlando on 07877 994 for Kings Row tickets and more information. The Giants of Lovers Rock.